In this video tutorial we're going to show you how to embed a video within the page of your publication. We will be working within the interactive panel in the design tab of the 3D Issue software. Firstly select the page you wish to work with. 3D Issue supports FLV, MP4 and MOV files. You can also link to YouTube videos and Vimeo videos. For the purpose of this tutorial we will add an MP4 file and then on another page we'll add a video from Vimeo. This embed video feature allows you to define the exact area on the page where you would like the video to play from. Unlike the add video feature which is presented as a button or a hotspot and will open the video in its own viewing panel. This takes over a lot of the screen space. Use the browser to locate the video of choice. With this feature you will have the added option of placing a poster file on the page which will act as a graphic cover of the video pane whilst it's inactive on the page. The system will copy that media file over to the publication. Let's not also start this video on the page and allow the user to activate it through the play button which will appear on the screen to the reader. Now let's use the embed feature on another page. This time we will link to a video on Vimeo instead. Again we have the option to have a poster file as a graphic cover on the video pane whilst it's inactive on the page. Add the identification tag from the Vimeo video in the video field. To locate this simply open up the location of your video on Vimeo from the URL. Copy the last eight characters of this URL which represents the unique identifier of that video. Copy this into the video field on your 3D issue screen. With this second video, let's have it auto start on page for the purpose of this demonstration. For further information on the advanced settings for rollover, size, and position for this feature, please refer to the Go To Page video tutorial. All media objects now have advanced settings also. You can learn more about the video tutorial in the Insert Flash Animation video. Let's now review some of the changes we have applied. Remember, our first video was an MP4 file which we added using the embed video button to a fixed area on the page and it did not auto start on page. The second video was linked to a Vimeo video which should auto start on the page when we land on that page. Note the poster files we used on both embedded videos. Meet Jeff. Every day Jeff creates and distributes printed brochures, newsletters, and other materials to promote his company's products and services and offer expert advice. These are Jeff's customers. These people over here are not Jeff's customers, but they could be. He would love to help them, but they're so hard for him to find and harder to convert. That concludes this module on embedding a video within the page of your publication.